Or is Prime Minister Yung Lak's refusal to confirm her appearance at the Commission a delaying tactic or strategic move? Associate Professor Nathan Wood Pimpa from the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology, please. Will is Prime Minister Yung Lak's refusal to confirm her appearance at the Commission a delaying tactic or strategic move? Associate Professor Nathan Wood Pimpa from the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology, please. It could be both. Interesting point because if you look at this story from the current political situation in Thailand, well, first of all, from the pro government camp, obviously the key question for them is if the National Anti Corruption Commission has done their work fairly. A lot of them said they don't do it fair and square, uh, compare with a situation with the former Prime Minister of Isikbek Chashiwa, where it took them almost five years to charge or, or to proceed with the case. But with Ding Lak, it's only within 28 days. So uh, obviously this is one delaying tactic for Ying Lak. But from the second point of view, if you look at that from the story of the, the um, anti-government camp, uh, most of them really argue that um, this is the tactic that Prime Minister Ying Lak and her party try to be above the constitution, since this is the, the second power that may come into uh, the sanction of the power. And uh, obviously they say that the tactic from Ying Lak in, in doing this is to create doubt in the fans of NACC in the eye of the public. And at the same time, uh, the delaying process can create uncertainty in Thailand. Well, then,